this to us now. Now you want to run slow, you piece of crap. <laughs> and welcome, everybody, to Apocalypse Otaku! Welcome! As it pertains by the title, we are fashionably late. Very Again. fashionably late. As you yeah. can see, I am in a sweatshirt because it is a tad bit chilly outside. It so is 60 degrees outside here. A whole 60 degrees. That, that's in, that, that's Ohio weather for you. We have the most strangest, strangest, I mean strangest probably weather conditions ever regarding Well, weather. apparently where we are, it's kind of like down in a valley. But mm-hmm. enough about the weather. Yes. I'm sure you didn't tune in to find out about that. Mm-hmm. Um... Sorry, I'm moving my camera. <laughs> but, um... Either way, we got our Elite Eight. Elite Eight. Yes. And we got to get it down to the final four. Yes, we do. And thanks to a- a Nemo. Anime Nemo. Anime Nemo. Everybody who voted on it got it down to the final four. Yes. And we're going to tell you who that final four is. And along the way, we're going to have manga. Manga releases that were done this past week. And also, we're going to tell you what the tsunami schedule is. And DVD releases that have come out during the spring And during the summer. Yep. Probably the fall. They're not too specific on it. It's it's Anime Planet, I Mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah. If I remember right, I think it's yeah, Anime Planet. Uh they're being gracious enough to supply me with a list of anime that is coming out spring, summer. And fall. So all you have to do is, you know, keep an eye out for it. That's the only thing I can tell you. Because they're not giving me a specific date. Yeah, I think when we covered Anime Planet last, that's when we were talking about how Digimon and Pokemon deal with different issues of death. I think that was the last time we were associated with uh, anime, uh, Anime Planet at the time. That's what I can think of to my knowledge right now. I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to go back into our Annals of Time on our YouTube page to look at that. We'll have to go later. back in time. Yes, we'll have to go back time to the good old days. <laughs> Thank you, 21 Savage. So, you want to knock out the tsunami schedule first, or do you want to get these brackets knocked out of the way first? Well, I think we should start knocking out some of... This. And she almost dropped the board. <laughs> almost dropped it. <laughs> all right, so we are. All right, so we are going to knock out our Elite Eight down to the final Is four. Did somebody erase? No, they didn't. No. I was like, oh my God, somebody <laughs> erased it. You thought which someone side, did. Which side are we going with first? We are going to start with whichever background pops up first. And we are going to start with. Our One Piece side of the card. Yes, we are. So, who do we have up first? And we have, starting off with our pirates and that lovely, lovely background that I displayed, we have Shanks versus Sabo. Ooh. Now... I have a feeling I know who won. (laughs) You might... uh, Maybe. And I haven't even watched the show. I'm not even that far to even see Sabo or Shanks yet. All I have seen them in, i mostly seen Shanks in openings of One Piece. I have yet to see Sabo in the anime just yet. But again, as the series goes on further, I'm not even I'm trying to think what season am I on with One Piece? One Piece is an anime that just doesn't die, such as Dragon Ball Z. It's still going on in Japan. Yep. And they're showing it on Funimation. They're bringing all the streams over. Well, they said that they're not going to air all the shows here in the United States. Which I can understand. I mean, it is a really long show. It is. They're at 888 episodes right now. I think people are possibly getting tired of it. I don't know. I don't watch it. I d I don't believe so. I know a lot of people are probably tired of watching. I mean Die Hard fans 
we'll uh, keep watching it, mm -hmm. but and it's like Bleach. People want more Bleach, but the creator, no, nah, not so much. Okay, so there's still four hours remaining on the polls that I each put up because I was late putting them up, and I hate myself for doing that. But either way, um, let's read the comments. There were only four comments, and how many votes were cast so far? So far, 38 votes were cast for these two. Um, so four hours remaining. If you guys are still watching, um, keep voting until the poll runs out. <laughs> but either way, so... A person looks like with a vampire on there with a glitch effect. Uh, level 13. Um, Shanks is overrated. Basically what he or she put then. Rx, um, Crick X, Kriker Kid put Shanks, Curb, Stomp, Sabo. And then Shia says Sabo slums. And then the Sir Zoro Joro, um... Basically, my anime Nemo is not updated to the full effect. He just kind of had like a laughing, um, a picture of a dude laughing with a smirk on his face, just saying, ha, 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 something like, okay, whatever. <laughs> but people liked it either way, so let's get on to those numbers. All right. All right, for the red-haired pirate Shanks. Well, actually, no, we'll start with Sabo first. <laughs> Sabo has 21 Point one votes. Still counting, because there's four hours left. <laughs> and then Shanks has 78.9. What? Yep. Wow. Shanks. That, that's surprising. I figured Sabo would take it. Apparently not. The numbers don't lie. <laughs> no, numbers don't lie. Nope. So that was Shanks versus Sabo. So Shanks moves on. Our first of four. That, that was on. a surprising one. You th who, who were you betting on to win, Sabo? Yeah. Wow. You were wrong. <laughs> you were well, wrong. I don't watch the show, so I'm allowed you, to be wrong. Yeah, you're allowed to be wrong since you don't watch it. <laughs> okay, so our next one. Go ahead and put Shanks down in that first spot. All right. So Shanks is our... One of four on the bleach side. Not bleach. Bleach! <laughs> Why did I say that? What? <laughs> I don't what, know. Which My, one are you on? <laughs> My brain's not working. <laughs> okay, but uh, that's our one piece side. So, because I clearly have the one piece background, and I hope no one comes after me for saying that. I really don't. <laughs> but either way, our next contenders for our one piece side is Lutfi versus. Zoro. Ooh, that's gonna be fun. So, we all know that these two have faced off in the past, but now we are letting you people decide. There were 36, so at least two short of the Shanks versus Sabo match. So I have a feeling I know who, vote, who won this one. And surprisingly, there were no comments on the Lutfi versus Zoro um, matchup, which was surprising, or no one decided to comment on it. So, all right, let's start with this. So, Zoro, 41.7 votes, percents of the votes. And, there's, and the voting is still going on. You can still vote for the remaining four hours that this poll is up. But if your pick did not win, tough, Sorry. Yeah, tough coconuts. <laughs> and Lutfi, 58.3. Boy, that was close. Yeah. Because they're both evenly matched, so it kind of makes sense to do that. So, all right. And that was our bleach side of the Ble card. Why, are you Why was it bleach? bleach? I don't know. Come on. You said it. I said bleach. You said bleach. That, that's what you said. That, yeah, it's my fault. It's your fault. <laughs> all my fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. I blame you. But now we are moving on to our ninja side of the card. We are moving on to no, the No, we're not. Bar. We're going to go to manga readings. Oh, yeah. You want to watch me so suffer. Get, so you can get that. your mind back in the right mindset. <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> yeah, watch me suffer. This is going to be fun amusement for everybody uh, else. Oh, boy. All right. 
I don't know why I'm getting caught on that, but okay, let's start with the manga reading. You've already made yourself suffer. Come on. I know, I have. Because I'd have Because you keep talking about bleach. Well, I'm probably excited because it might be coming back. <laughs> don't blame me for being excited. Okay, so that's Well, I keep looking out, making sure, you know, that it's not coming back or if it is. Okay. All right. Moving on. So we are going to read, well, I am, at least, are going to be re blah, blah, blah. <laughs> going to be reading releases from this past week. So we are going to start with the 11th, which was Tuesday. So there were a lot of manga releases in the U.S. today, and I think at least one DVD release looks like on here. All right, let's get her done. Okay. Boarding School Juliet 6, Dragon Quest Monsters Plus Volume 3, Evangelion Illustrations 2007 through 2017. Yeah, you're, you're, you, that's your uh, go to, Char. You enjoy that. Um, let- Evangelion is the show. I mean, it's the show that, you know, how do I put this? It's the show that kickstarted mech animes to begin with as well. Oh, no, no, style. no. That would be, um, gosh, probably Gundam. Because mm. that came out in 79. Mm-hmm. But Evangelion is the one that, you know, is the kind of like the blueprint mm-hmm. and, and not so you don't follow it you don't want to follow that blueprint because um your the show will the show won't be on air basically hmm. if you notice a lot of the shows after evangelion came out like uh, Cowboy Bebop. It was one of the shows that was under the gun because they said there was, it was too violent and it had too many drugs. Cowboy Bebop only aired 12 shows in Japan out of the 26, 27, maybe 24 episodes. But... All the shows after you know after that were kind of toned down a lot. Um, some of them haven't, mm-hmm. but they got they got lucky to be aired on. They got lucky to be aired on TV. But you go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so Evangelion. All right. Flying Witch, Volume 7. I'm currently still haven't finished watching that. It's actually a pretty good little uh, anime series. It's on Hulu for all of you guys who decide to go to, um, you know, services to watch most of your anime. You know, like streaming services like Netflix. For those of you who like magical girl shows. That's not a magical... It's not a magical girl show. It's about basically a girl witch that... I think her cousin or something. I don't know. I haven't watched it in forever, so I need to go back to watch it. Slice of Life show? Yep, pretty much. Mm. Okay. Not my cup of tea, sorry. We all we all have our uh, esteemed animes we enjoy watching. All right. Yes, so, we do. Mm-hmm. All right. I married my best friend to shut my parents up. <laughs> That's what okay. it says right there. <laughs> I'm thinking like, okay, that's pretty blunt. <laughs> okay. Comey can't communicate volume one. That's literally repeated at least four times on this page. All right. Moggy, the Labyrinth of Magin, volume 36. Wow, they're at 36 volumes already. Yet they still don't continue the series. That is pathetic. <laughs> what show? What? Magi, the Labyrinth of Magic. It's kind of like takes Aladdin, um, 
kind of like Aladdin and then the story of Alibaba into an anime type of climate. But it's completely different than what, you know, Disney portrays of Aladdin and what the story so of So they're Alibaba doing was. that manga what kind of like what they did to Vampire Night. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I know. It it's sad. Real, real sad. But there, anyway, there was one show that I really wanted to watch, but I found out that they did it completely wrong. What was it? Uh, it's called Sensual Phrase. Sensual Phrase. Sensual Phrase. Sensual Phrase. Okay, I may have You'll to... have to find the manga and oh. read it, oh, and then you will understand why <laughs> they did it a different way. All right, I'll I'll definitely do that. All right. Let's see. All right. It's Ooh. not that bad. It it could be, but it's not. Okay. Hmm. Magika Swordsman and Summoner, Volume 11, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, Kana's Daily Life, Volume 5, Missions of Love, 17, Naruto Shippuden Set, 38, Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Noragame Stray God 20. Pokemon the movie The Power of Us. Z Zera Zora's Story. That's the manga, of course it is. Cause Pokemon. All right. Princess Jellyfish Box Set. Skeleton Knight in Another World Light Novel Volume 1. Sleepy Princess in the Demon Castle Volume 7. Splatoon, Volume 6, That Time I Got Reincarnated as a Slime, 10, To Love Roo, Volumes 13 through 14, Tokyo, Taradab Ta Tarab Tariba Girls, 7, and World's End Harem, Volume 5. <laughs> of course, the last one on that release date had to be weird. <laughs> of course, that had to be weird. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm just gonna also read for next week as well because they they don't have any manga releases for today. So for yesterday, there was only one manga release, and that was HP Loves Crafts at the Mountains of Madness, Volume One. Where do they come up with these freakish titles? It's anime. They can do anything. This is manga, not anime. <laughs> Same thing. Where do you think anim anime comes from? Japan. Japan are crazy people, but I would like to visit there one day. But, <laughs> but where do you think they get, you know, the anime from? Oh, duh, the manga. There you go. <laughs> In okay. some cases, they come from video games, but, you know, like, Gungrave. Mm-hmm. Or there's a few anime that I've watched that came from video games, and they weren't that good. What well, not Final Fantasy considered um, one of those, a video game turned anime? Uh, yeah. There you go. One of the video games turned anime. Yet it worked out, kind of. I think it did, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, so here are your manga releases for next week. So this is for Monday. Tune in for the torture. Yes, more torture <laughs> for me. <laughs> okay, so this is Monday, and there's only one release for the UK, and this is a Blu-ray DVD. So it's Hanasaku Aruha, Blossoms of Tomorrow, Part 1. And then for Tuesday, holy cheese, there's a lot for Tuesday on the 18th. Jesus Christ! Are you sure you want to read all that? <laughs> yes, I'm going to read all of it. <laughs> I have to do it. It's my responsibility as the person that reads the manga titles. Because <laughs> you don't do it. Buckle in, kiddos. It's going to be a long ride. Yup. Enjoy it while you can. <laughs> Enjoy the torture while you can. You will. <laughs> Of course you will. <laughs> okay, these are a lot of releases for next Tuesday, so I'll probably repeat these tomorrow, but I might not. Not tomorrow. Next week. Jeez, I'm off my game today. All right. 
20th Century Boys, The Perfect Edition, Volume 4, A Certain Magical Index, Volume 19, A Certain Magical Accelerator, Volume 9, A Terrified Teacher at Ghoul School, Volume 7, Excel World, Volume 18, Again, 9. Yes, that's what it says. If you don't believe me, look it up at the site, otakucalendar.com. Okay, what else? Uh, okay, Alice in Murderland, Volume 11. OP's Volume 3. As Miss Bells Above Likes, Volume 6. Attack on Titan Season 3, Part 2 Manga Box Set. Batum, Volume 25. Bongo Stray Dogs, Volume 11. And Bongo Stray Dogs, Volume 1. I said that out of order, but whatever. Dead Mount Death Play, Volume 2. Divine Renment Magical Girl Howling Moon, Volume 1. For the Kid I Saw in My Dreams, Volume 2. Gangster Cursed, Volume 5. Goblin Slayer Side Story, Year 1, Volume 2. God Shining Moonlight Howling Moon, Volume 1. Go Kamu, Volume 10. Hakumi and Micho, Mikojo, Tiny Little Life in the Woods, Volume 6. I think we actually ranted about that title. <laughs> so, let's see. Okay, let's see. Uh, happiness, 9. Um... Hatsuharu, Volume 7. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon on the side? War it depends on <laughs> what's going on. <laughs> on the side, War Octoria, Volume 9. It depends God. on if whips and chains are involved. <laughs> you had to bring that up. <laughs> okay, man. Somebody had to. <laughs> of course you did. Okay, um, where what do you mean by that? I don't know. <laughs> okay. There are some people who do think that, and some people actually do that. Yeah, we're not wrong. We, there are a lot of sick people out there. But they're not sick. It's just what they like. <laughs> okay, Kaiju Girl. We're not going into it. No, we're not. <laughs> Kaiju Girl, Kalamisa, Volume 1. Karagori. Complexive Gambler, Volume 10, Konosabu, An Explosion on This Wonderful World, Volume 1, Little Miss P, I have no idea what the P means, but I'm going to leave that alone. <laughs> uh, it depends on the spelling. No, it just says the word, it's just the letter P. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't know what, you know, the per the P entails, so we're going to leave that alone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, Okay. Maga Tatsu, Volume 11 through 13. Monster in the Beast, Volume 1. It's on there twice, so I'm not going to read it. The My Little Pony, the manga, The Day in the My Life of a Pony? <laughs> yes, The Day in the oh. Life of Equestria, Volume 1. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep, even cartoons are getting manga now. <laughs> oh. Is it right there in black and For white? For those of you out there who want My Little Pony manga, it comes out when? Tuesday, June 18th. There you go. <laughs> My Little Pony. For all you bronies out there. Yes, I know what grown men are known as bronies. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm telling you, if Barry was here right now, he'd be all over that, but he's not. <laughs> bronies! <laughs> I wonder if Barry is a brony. <laughs> I doubt it, though. I really doubt it. I doubt it. He's a brony. Or he'll even admit to that. So what do you call older men that are, are into uh, you call My them, Little Pony? You just call them old bronies. Old bronies. Yeah, old bronies. <laughs> you have you have bronies and you have old bronies. <laughs> yep. Alrighty. All right. So next is My Youth Romantic Comedy is Wrong as I Expected, Comic Volume 11. Nurse Hematori's Monster Infirmary, Volume 9. Oh, Maidens in Your Savage 
in your savage <laughs> season two. Looks like that was a DVD release, but it's really manga. So. And then you call the grumpy guys grumpy old bronies. Yep. <laughs> That's what you call them. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. One week... We're still on that. Yep, we're still on the brony topic. <laughs> One Week Friends, Volume 7, Prison School, Volume 13, Re-Zero, Starting Life in Another World, Volume 10, um, Restaurant to Another World, Volume 1, Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon, Sailor Stars, Season 5, Part 1. No. Yep. No. No. It's a DVD, it's a Blu-ray, a manga, and a limited edition Blu-ray and manga. Yay. Wow. Sa- Satan's Secretary, Volume 2. That would be my job. <laughs> Being Satan's Secretary? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. We're, uh, all right. Silver Spoon, Volume 9. Sword Art Online, Alternate Gun Gale Online, Volume Bad. 3. From my understanding, Gun Gale wasn't that good, so I you can skip was, that. Eh, I thought it was good. Okay. Um, sort it of. It depends on who you are. Yeah. I mean, everybody has their own taste. All right. Uh, Sword Art Online. Progress. Progressive. Six. Yeah, that that's a very interesting title. Okay. The Alteric War, Volume 10. Saw that series. It was very good. Uh, the Empty Box in Zorith Maria, Volume 6. The Hero is Overpowered by Overly, cost- by overly Caution, Volume 1. Wow. That okay. Is, that is, that's a sad, sad hero. Hmm. Okay. The Regular at Magic High School, Volume 12. The night is short. Walk on, girl. What? <laughs> that makes no, no sense. sense absolutely. Mm-mm. Just like my sentence was. <laughs> it made no sense. Uh, yeah, these made... Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-mm, no sense. All right. The Witch's House, The Diary of Ellen, Volume 2. Tokyo Ghoul Re, Volume 11. Ultraman, Volume 12. Wherever... Hold on. Yeah. Whenever Our Eyes Met. And there's no specific volume, so that just must be the uh, newest one. And last but not least... Oh, you'll get a real kick out of this this last Oh, yeah, I'm ready. All right. I'm ready. Wolf Wolf Story. I told you to turn me into a pampered pooch, not a fern... A ferner... Volume two. Volume two. That's what it says. Woof woof. Yep. Yeah. So it sounds like something that involves magic and all that jazz. So that is all your releases for this Who past week and next week. Who wants to be a pampered pooch? People that like dogs. True. I like dogs. Or someone who has me. Oh, anyway. All right. You want to finish the final four, or shall we go on to the Toonami schedule? We'll head to the Toonami schedule, then continue with our Naruto side of the board. So what do we got for this coming Saturday? (sighs) Well, as you all know, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures came to a bizarre end. How so? You didn't watch it? You know, I <laughs> I didn't get a chance to. I was too busy in my living room watching something else. Uh, how do I say? None of them. They were written. I, I, he was Jotaro. Not Joe. All of them were really re- ready to kill. You know, the evil guy, the bad guy. I can't remember his name. It's not. No, it's not Dio. He's done and over with. Um, uh, wasn't it one of the clay, the mask people? No, this had to do with an arrow. Oh. Anyway. Well, they killed the father. Mm-hmm. And... Who was sticking everybody with the arrow. Mm-hmm. So they could have, you know, more people on their side. 
but that's not it's not Joe Taro. Are you thinking of Josuke? Yes, Josuke. Thank you. <laughs> Josuke just beat the ever living crap out of this out of the bad guy, and he was about ready to kill him along with Joe Taro. What? And he fell to the ground, and for some odd reason, the ambulance backed over him. What? And killed him. Sorry if I spoiled it for anybody. Well, you spoiled it for me because you know I don't I don't watch it while it's you know in Japanese, oh. but I don't watch Toonami that much either, and I need to start watching Toonami in order to get you know. I mean, there's more to it than that. I just told you that how he was killed. Man, that, that that's all. That is bizarre. I didn't tell you exactly. Now, all the gruesome grody I'll find details. that. I'll find that out for oh myself. My gosh. So don't, don't ruin it for me, please. I'm not. Because <laughs> my microphone keeps going all over the place. I know what to do. Turn it around. <laughs> Turn oh. around. <laughs> all right. There. All right. It's, all right, it's all so JoJo's Bizarre Adventures is no more until they get the next, the next. Yes, there is going to be another one. Well, duh. <laughs> no, there seriously there is. Yeah, I know. That's why I said duh. Like they're just gonna leave it off like that. Come on, there has to be continuance. Oh no, there's not a continuance to this one. What? No, oh, that's that was it. Ah oh, man. I mean, it was a weird ending, but that was it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the next one, um, I'm not sure how it's going to be because I haven't watched, you know, Japanese or, any, you know, I, I don't watch anything online. Whatever's on Toonami, I watch it. If I buy it, I watch it. So, all right. So we're going to start at 8 o'clock, and this is no, this should, this should come as no surprise to anybody, but 8 o'clock is Dragon Ball Z Kai, and at 8.30 is Dragon Ball Super, 9 o'clock, they're on for an hour, Rick and Morty, Cue. and then at 10.30 is My Hero Academia, that's when the real anime starts. Oh, yeah. Except for 11 o'clock when Dragon Ball Super is on. Lame. And then 11.30 is Attack on Titan. Yes. And at midnight, please don't let your kids watch this show. The Promised Neverland. It's beyond creepy. Very. I I've never watched it. All I saw was previews for it, and I was like, I don't even want to watch it. I've glanced at it once or twice, but I've never had the, you know, had the... Cojones? Yeah. Never had... I didn't have the uh, cojones, if you will, to actually watch it. Plus, I wasn't interested in it. So, yeah. And then at 12.30 is Sword Art Online, Alicization... Now a lot of people They're getting close today. to the end of this show one the this show too. Mm. I can tell because they're getting closer and closer to the top. One of them is already there, but he's already been defeated. So. It's Hugo, right? Hugo? Yeah. Who's Hugo? He's in um Sword Art Online Alicization. The blonde kid? Yeah. Yeah, the stupid one. <laughs> <sighs> well, the smart one is out on the ledge with Alice. Kirito. 
Mm. So the stupid one is with you know, the person that created everything. Mm. Yeah, of course. He succumbed to her, I guess you would call it charms, mm. if you want to call it that. Sorry if I spoiled anybody's <laughs> day. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, at 1 a.m., here's a new one for you. Lupin the Third Part Five. Ooh, that's old school. It's just drawn old school. It's not really old. Because the creator of Lupin the Third, he's already passed away. So... I don't know how many Lupins he had left. I'm mm -hmm. thinking this one was the last one. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, 130 is Black Clover. At 2 a.m. is Boruto. 230 is Nero. Naruto. <laughs> You're trying to say Naruto. <laughs> no, I wasn't. At 3 a.m. is Hunter Hunter. And 3.30 is Jemusetu Machu Picchu. Don't watch that if you're staying up till 3 a.m. Do not watch it. And don't watch the show after it either. Because at 4 a.m. is Ball Masters 9009. <laughs> <sighs> One of Barry's favorites. <laughs> His absolutely, positively favorite thing mm -hmm. to announce on here. Mm -hmm. And at 4.15, because Ballmasters is only on for 15 minutes. Eh, must be a short show. <laughs> mm. Her burning spirit didn't last that long. Nope. <laughs> oh man. I'm sorry. F four fifteen Tigtone. Don't watch that either. Is that is that bad? Okay. Remember we read Don't the, watch it. We read the description last week. <laughs> the description of the show is Tigtone and his fellowship of Blank. <laughs> what? Fellowship of what? The bean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, there are so many things that I could say, but I can't because we will get kicked <laughs> off. <laughs> Fellowship of being dummies. <laughs> we don't know. We'll, we'll, if you stay up till 4.15 and want to watch TikTone, be our guest. Mm-hmm. At 4.30 a.m. is the Venture Brothers. Hmm. And from 5, well, starting at 5 a.m. is Aqua Teen, which I used to watch. I actually used to watch that show. I watched, like, just a little bit of it, but I really would never pay attention to it. I feel like watching that just mostly made me hungry. <laughs> you mean the box of fries and the shake? The fries, the shake, and, and the, the meatball. meatball. Yeah, <laughs> that would probably make anybody hungry. And then Carl next door didn't help anything much when he was always eating and they had crap all over he the was front just, of He was just a fat guy with fat tattoos slob. on him. He was a, a fat Harry slob. Tish. Yep, a fat slob. That's what he was. <laughs> he was like no help whatsoever. None. Well, actually, he had common sense. He tried to stay away from them. Mm -hmm. But they wouldn't... Leave they him alone. Wouldn't, no, they wouldn't leave him he alone. He lived next door to him. So, yeah. You can leave him alone if he tried. And at 530 is... Home Movies! Of Sierra. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> it's not. I have no home movies. <laughs> no home movies of Sierra. It's it's a show home movies, I promise. Yeah. All right. All Are right. we going to finish up this thing or what? Yeah, we are. We're going to finish this up real good. 
Okay. <laughs> so next we are covering our ninjas of Naruto today. Yes, yes we are. Because it is awesome. Ninjas um, are cool. They are cool. And let's see, we have the Sani Ninja Jiraiya versus Itachi Uchiha. Ooh, fun. Uh-huh. And let's take- Again, I have not watched this show, so... I have. My opinion does not count. Nope. <laughs> and there were seven. Hold on. Let's. Okay. So there are 75 votes in counting still for these two. And there were seven comments on this. So I thought you said there were no comments. It was the Naruto versus Sasuke one. Oh. They were too busy voting. Yep. The voting was intense. <laughs> but let's read the comments for this. Jiraiya versus Itachi match. So, I'm going to read the latest one. So, this was from yesterday. I'm going to start at the top because that's how I roll. So, Satan. Yes, that that's the person's username, Satan. I don't know why. Wrote, Itachi only... Wait, actually, you know what? I'm going to start from the bottom. Either way. It's the same person that commented on the One Piece... One of the One Piece uh, Battle Royale slots... Said he said honestly, I hate both. <laughs> he hates well, both. Well, then why comment or vote? I know, right? Well, I don't don't get me wrong. We appreciate it, but uh, <sighs> but why comment <sighs> that though? <laughs> okay, um, let's see. So, how Della's? She put Jiraiya is a signing. I guess people forgot what that actually means. But then Anime Sama commented on her on what she said and also put, but Itachi beat Asanin with like negative effort. So basically, Itachi has defeated another Asanin. We do that I did not know about, or I cannot recall at the moment. And then Umas Chan, a fun win for Itachi with a. Laughing and crying emoji. So sounds like this person has no luck <laughs> in that in, in Itachi whatsoever. And then Gotcha Games, but I want I want to die. Yeah, these men. How do people come up with these weird names? <laughs> Think anything will really pass on these things. Okay, Itachi said in the anime that if he and Jiraiya were to fight, they would both die. And it's funny because they are both dead. <laughs> in the series. So, either way, that's how it is. And then Jordan Schmidt put, Itachi is afraid of Jiraiya, and I understand it, so I picked Jiraiya. So clearly, this person is for Jiraiya. And then Satan put, Itachi only said he'd die if he fought Jiraiya because he would have to kill Jiraiya if he had to escape. So I'm 100% sure Itachi can slap Jiraiya. That's what he said. <laughs> or commented or whatever. Okay. So let's look at the numbers. So Jiraiya, 36%. And that's an even number. <laughs> wow. I know. The first. I know. <laughs> We've mostly had like point twos or point threes. And then Itachi, 64 Looks like Itachi is moving on. Wow. Now this one, everybody is just voting on um, on this one. And I can understand why. So we have next is a rematch that probably people of the series of Naruto have seen already. And now they're going to see it again. It is Naruto versus Sasuke and surprisingly there were like no comments on it 57 votes and counting while three hours remain for this poll to be up and let's see the numbers all right up we're back to the uh, points again the points after the numbers so Sasuke 26.3 and then Naruto Uzumaki 73.7 
So now it is down to our elite four. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Does that Final Four. I know, Final Four. That... It's kinda like basketball. You gotta think basketball. Elite eight. Final yeah. four. We're down to our final four. That is insane. So we let's see. So it will be Itachi versus Naruto and Shanks versus Luffy. Wow. Now I don't believe Luffy and Shanks have fought, but for all those people that have watched the One Piece series, I don't know if they have fought or if they ever will, so I'm going to have to make sure I binge watch tonight One Piece. And Naruto and Itachi have never faced in the anime series one-on-one -on -one because Itachi died before even facing Naruto. So we'll get to see that. Because we're all about making fantasy matches a reality here at Apocalypse Otaku. That's right. <laughs> and we always have fun making them. So what do you got over there, Char, for our spring anime releases? Looks like you got over there. Oh, boy. A bunch. A bunch. I bet you it is. All right. So this website that I'm going by is called Anime Planet. Uh, Ta-da! It's on the screen for everybody to see now. <laughs> Make it easy I'm, for everybody. <laughs> I'm not going to say that it's 100% accurate, but... This is what they put. This is how they put it. I mean, they put everything in alphabetical order. From numbers to letters. <laughs> Yeah, you always start with the numbers, and then you go into letters. Yeah. But, um... Let me see here. Like, if you scroll over it, you'll be able to see the description of it? Is that what it's giving you right now? Uh, not really. It's uh, just giving me an alternate title and huh. well, what it basically, yeah, you know, what it basically is right here. It's uh, the tags on it are action to one nineteenth century swords play, time travel, based on a mobile game, based on an Atome game otaku obsessed games <laughs> so uh, it might be interesting hmm. um let's see card fight vanguard what There was one on here that what is fairy gone? We re we oh. we talked about that, remember? Well, at least I remember. Fairies possess and reside within animals, granting them special powers by surgically removing and transplanting the organs of a possessed animal into a human. Humans can partially su summon the fairy and use it as a weapon. Yeah, you did talk about that. Yeah, and <laughs> animal souls and humans. Uh, <laughs> that one I may watch. Fruits basket. I'm no fairy gone. Oh, fairy gone. I'm. In, I've seen it pop up. It's like featured on Funimation sometimes. I haven't got a chance to watch it yet. I did look at um, Demon Slayer, but. Um, it was in Japanese. So I don't mess with it. Bloodthirsty demons lurk in the woods and nobody de dares to go out at night. Hmm. King of Prism. 
Shiny Seven Stars. Oh, God, it's another idol movie or series. One of those. After appearing in the Prison King Cup, presenting Edel Rose and getting a glimpse of what it was like to be a future Prism star, Ichijo Shin entered Kakiyoin High School. Uh, sorry, Kakiyoin Academy's high school division in spring and became a first year high school student. Yeah, it sounds like a. Yeah, it sounds like a idol show. Idol <laughs> movie or anime, one of those. And there's some magical girl stuff here and. Cat stuff here. Cat stuff. Uh, Midnight Occult Civil Servants. That one looks kind of, you know, appealing to me. It looks like it involves ghosts. Um, can they say that? What? I don't know. What does it say? I'm trying to get it up there so they can... Oh, okay. When Miyako Arata joins the Shinjuku ward office, he thinks he, he's gotten a a, 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 uh, a normal civil servant job. But it turns out he's joined the Knight Community Exchange Department, one of which operates secretly and it in each of Tokyo's 23 ward offices. Their job is to resolve occult issues concerning non-human beings. See, I knew this was going to be good. Accompanied by his senpai and department head, Sakaki, Koichi, and the occult-obsessed Himetsuka Seu. The they work night after night facing off with beings whose extents existence. Existence, sorry. Yeah. Defies the laws of our world. And the description source was by Crunchyroll. Uh, the kind of tags they have on it is fantasy, mystery, sojo, contemporary fantasy, Japanese mythology, supernatural, urban fantasy, work life, yokai, based on a manga. So it sounds like it might be good. Definitely we'll have to take a look at that. Robohachi is actually pretty cool. Robohachi? Yeah, and I'll read the description for you. So in the year of GC 0051, humans have obtained super light speed navigation technology and formed a common wealth of planets with other species. In debt, freelance reporter Robbie Reggie has had a streak of bad luck. Lose you act like you know how to pronounce his last name. You've watched this. I have. <laughs> Only watched one episode. I haven't watched the second one, but I'm going to watch it. Um, all right. Where did I leave off? Uh, having a streak of bad luck, losing his job, his girlfriend, and was nearly killed in a traffic accident when his bag is stolen. Robbie meets 18-year-old Hachi Kida, who apprehends the thief and returns his property. The two part ways soon after, but Hachi eventually turns up in Robbie's life again, this time as a debt collector working for a loan shark named Yan. A cat and mouse chase begins, and Robbie tries to elude Hachi and escape to space while shaking off Yan's group, only to discover Hachi hiding inside his spaceship. The two decide to travel across the galaxy together in search of of Iska Landra, a distant and legendary planet in the Milky Way 
that is said to bring happiness to those who go there. Well, I think we should go there. Dang. <laughs> okay, so the tags for it are adventure, comedy, mecha, sci-fi, aliens, debt, outer space, parody, and original original work. I like that. Adventure, comedy, mecha, sci-fi, aliens, debt. Debt. <laughs> yeah, debt. <laughs> yeah, just a oh random part in there. Debt. <laughs> All right, so we have some more. Definitely do not. Um, okay, where is that one? Okay, so for all of you wondering about Sarazaname, it is probably one of those weird animes that you get sucked into, but yet you regret watching it and you have to wash your eyeballs out. This anime is probably the most weirdest one. Which one? This one, the... Sarazaname. That one. Remember, you read it and you're going, oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. So let's let's just say if you if any of you guys have probably seen prison school and seen how crazy those shenanigans are, and you survived that, I know I have. If you want to watch this, watch this at your own risk, because this is probably the most ludicrous anime I probably have ever watched besides prison school. That this one is completely out there. <laughs> and I'm not even gonna go into detail on it, so I'm gonna leave that alone. <laughs> oh. Yeah. And I think we read this not too long ago, so. We're just going to sit that there and... <laughs> We're just not going to touch it. Nope. We are not going to touch it at all. And, of course, One Punch Man Season 2 is on there. Of um, course. Yes, because it's One Punch Man. And Ultraman. 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 Oh, yeah, I know about um Aggressive Re... re yeah, I know about this one. Aggressive Rio Suko. I know about that. That's supposed, I think that's already back on Netflix already, but I'm not certain. But it's actually a funny little series about a little red panda that hates her job, but then goes to a karaoke bar and just screams her heart out with death metal to <laughs> relieve all of her stress. <laughs> that's basically the gist of that entire anime. And it's a Netflix original, so... For all of you guys that have Netflix and can't find a good anime to watch, then that's for you. But so far, they don't really have a lot of new titles, really, um, for spring. Most of these I've already known that were already out, or I don't pay attention to watch them. What you looking at now, for winter? Or what? No, these are movies. Birthday Wonderland? Where is that? Hold up. What, what tab movies. is that under? Movies. Go down. Okay. Oh, it's movies? I'm going down. Oh, okay. There you go. Birthday Wonderland. Okay, I'm going to read the description on this. Akane is a girl with no self-confidence. On the day before her birthday, she meets a mysterious alchemist, Hippo... <laughs> Hippocrates? Hippocrates. Hippocrates and their student, Pippo who both tell her they're on a mission to save the world. Together, they set out for from the basement for Wonderland. And Akane finds herself labeled Wonderland's savior. So basically, they're taking a twist on Alice in Wonderland, but calling it Birthday Wonderland. Cool. Oh, boy. Shin-chan's back. Where? Where do you see that? Oh, up there. <laughs> Crayon Stin Chan. <laughs> it says movie 27. Wow. Be ready for naked butt, for <laughs> naked little babies. <laughs> yeah, of course, when, when, yeah, it's always fun seeing naked babies roll around. And of course, they have no synopsis for any of this. Oh, here we go. 
Here, which one? Uh, Hakubo. That actually looks pretty interesting. Alternate title, Twilight. Ooh. So that must be the translation of it is Twilight. Or maybe it isn't, I don't know. Probably. Hakubo, in particular, follows youths living in the now present in Iwaki City, Fukushima, Fukushima Prefecture, after the Tohoku earthquake. Tohoku earthquake <laughs> and tsunami of March 11th, 2011. Whoa, that's deep. This one? Uh, it's labeled as drama, natural disaster, original work. Ooh, so then that must be good. Okay, now this one actually I've seen previews of. Uh, Kimito Nami ni Nora Terra, which is basically the alternate title is called Ride Your Wave. This one's actually, I've seen the work on this and seen the bit of the trailer for it. It's actually pretty good. So where she's a surfer. Yes. Well, technically they're both surfers, but let's read the description on this. This source is provided by Toho, the company that's brought us so many animes, such as, uh, what is it? My Hero Academia is sponsored by that. So let's read the description. Upon entering university, Hinako, Hinako moves to a coastal town. She loves surfing, and when she's on the waves, she's fearless, but still feels uncertain about her future. When a fire wreaks havoc in the town, Hinako encounters young firefighter Minato. As they surf and spend more time together, Hina Hinako feels drawn to someone like Minato, who devotes himself to helping other people. Hinako also holds a special place in Minato's heart. So that's just a short description. Aww. Yeah, there's nothing but love and surfing in there's anime. It's comedy, romance, romantic comedy, original work. That's the best kind is when it's original. And it's not, you know, just something that's already alternated together. But either way, I want to see this movie because it looks so good. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Laid backers. <laughs> In modern Kyoto, Kumi is a... A college student who moves to Kyoto in order to take over the candy store in, the, in order inherited. inherited from her late grandmother. The house accompanying the candy store was supposed to be, uh, supposed to be unoccupied, but there, Kumi meets uh, three women named Harami, May, and Kay, and a dog. <laughs> <laughs> so three women and a dog. <laughs> the four are heroes who were reincarnated from their world into this one. One day, the former demon king who messed up her reincarnation is now in the form of an elementary school student. <laughs> okay. Appears and asks her to collect the Demon King frag fragments together. <laughs> okay, so the tags for this are fantasy, reincarnation, and original work. So, the gist of this is, is that... In modern Anime days. can come up with some weird stuff. Mm -hmm. So you have a girl that inherits a candy store from her grandmother. Eventually finds the house that's attached to the candy store that's occupied by three women and a dog. And then the demon king, the former demon king, messes up her reincarnation by turning into the form of an elementary school student. And now they have to collect the fragments in order to make her reincarnation right. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm really going to enjoy this. It's already got 3.3 stars, so a lot of people are not really pumped about it. 
Or don't like and it. And then we have Lupin the Third. Mine. Mine. Fu Fujiko. Fuji. Fuji. Fujiko. I just call her Fuji. Mine Fujiko. No, no Uso. Uso. No entry. But the tags for it are action, comedy, serene. It's already been on Toonami. Oh, it is? Yeah. Hmm. Based on a manga. Yep. Promare. The animation looks pretty cool. Studio Trigger is in charge of this movie. 30 years ago, a massive firestorm tore through half of the world's cities, bringing the planet to its knees and giving birth... God, that had to have been a heck of a birth. Mm-hmm. To fire-wielding mutants known as Burnish. <laughs> Burnish. Now a powerful mutant terrorist group who calls themselves Mad Burnish. <laughs> Keep reading. <laughs> lead the, lead the soft-spoken Leo threatens to destroy the earth again in a blaze of H-fire. I think we can get away with that, though. We're not really cursing. We're just reading what's on the page, but if you want to, you, we are, you already read it, so... Whatever. The only thing that stands in their way is the Burning Rescue Fire Department and their hot-headed leader, Gallo. As these two burning forces collide with the world as their battlefield, who will come out victorious? Hmm. So it's a battle between saving the Earth between two different organizations that want to save the world. Wow. No, one wants to destroy it. One wants to... Um... Save yeah, it. they want to set the earth on fire again, and the other one w wants to try to save the earth. Hmm. And the tags for this are action, sci-fi, and original work. And it has no stars yet. Probably because people haven't seen it yet. Oh my gosh, look, they have Rascal Does Not Dream of Dreaming Girl the movie. Now, they already had um, Rascal Does Not Dream of Bunny Senpai, and now they have another movie entitled of it, so it's going to be fun. So it's, the tags on this are drama, romance, senpai, kohashi relationship, supernatural, and based on a light novel. So, yep, that's that. <laughs> are you reading about the uh, band movie? Well, this is the third one. I promise. A brand new day. <laughs> I promise! A brand new day! <laughs> How many times have we heard this? So many times. <sighs> Follow Kumiko as she takes on the role of mentor towards the incoming class of new members of the Kitauji... High School Concert Band Club as the group aims to take the gold at the National Championship Competition. Got four stars already. Tags mm -hmm. are drama, music, school club, tournaments, and based on a novel. So that's their third movie so far. Let's see what they have by the way of OVAs and specials. I see a One Punch Man recap. Yes, ma'am. Recap episode of the first season of One Punch Man. And there's a couple of Persona 5s in there. Only two. The animation, Proof of Justice. A magical Valentine's Day. Oh, Lord. Huh? No, where it shows the Persona 5, the animation, next to the Proof of a Justice. A magical Valentine's Day. Yep. Then they have the Wolf, Spice and Wolf VR. Ooh. Oh, wow. Fafner. 
the beyond. Mm. No, I watched the the show and they haven't had anything out for a long time. Mm. Bean Bandit. <laughs> and they also have Pop Team Epic. They have a creepy looking girl <laughs> dressed as Rambo. <laughs> mm. I would rather watch Sokio no Fafner, The Beyond. I think I really... I, I'm, I'm willing to bet that this is, you know, based on the show that they had out a long time ago. Mm-hmm. It probably is. Did you ever watch Fafner? I watched one. I... Just, you know, I watched one episode and he looked really good. You know, I watched one anime episode and then I go to Johnny Bosch in it. Come on! I hop, I anime hop. <laughs> <laughs> I hop from one anime to the other. Or I'll binge watch one and then hop to another and, one. Uh, speaking of binging, have you been watching the one show I told you to watch? Drifters? No. Jormungand. No. <sighs> You got to. There are just so many I'm binging right now. I'm <sighs> binge watching Fairy Tales Final Season. Um, what other ones am I watching? Sky Wizards, Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2. So many. Even uh, Wise Man's Grandchild. But it's technically supposed to be Wise Man's Grandson. So those, these anime here, this is all the anime that's going to be coming out this spring and summer. Yep. That's including your regular anime series, movies, and OVAs. Yep. I'm from Japan. <laughs> I'm going to read the description on that one just for fun. I'm from Japan. There's a new tough guy transferred transfer student in Tokyo. His name is Toki. And he's raring to see how <laughs> shabby what is it? Scrappy the locals are. But when he comes face to face with a Japan obsessed red headed kid that won't leave him alone until he tells him exactly what per <laughs> perfection he's from his life takes a turn for the crazy. This kid isn't just Japan obsessed. He's developed a martial art based on all the different professions in the country. Wow. And this is put out by Viz. So, it's supposed to be a common shonen gag school life transfer students and based on a manga. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> but other than that, yep, that's all from Anime Planet about the upcoming anime that'll be re animes, movies, and OVAs that'll be released in the spring throughout the summer. So yeah. Shall I just tell you the animes that I've been watching and then you can list every all of them that you've been watching? <laughs> <laughs> sure, go ahead. Why not? Alright. Um, the animes that I have been watching, as you all know, is JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. Um, Sword Art Online Alicization. And... Uh, My Hero Academia. Again? Still. Hmm. They're... They're going for their uh, hero license. Oh. So you're... What? You're stuck in between, what? Season 2 and 3 still? I can only go as fast as Toonami will air them. Okay. If they only air one show... That's what I watch. All right. Okay. See, that's your preference, so yeah. <laughs> and as far as at home, I'm watching DN Angel. Ooh, cool. Again. 
uh, again. <laughs> Repeat. <laughs> Hopefully, when I get my next check, I'll be able to buy some anime. Buy more anime. Yay. <laughs> That's always a plus when you can go to a store and buy anime. True. It's always uh, fun to buy more anime. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can find my list. Okay, so one of the series that I have been watching, um, Kanagiri, just had their second season released on Netflix, so I'm going to start watching that when I go home. Waiting for Forest and the Piano to come out, mm, I think two weeks from now. Doesn't come out until the 24th, so I'm excited for the second season. So what other animes have I watched? I have watched Hunter Hunter, Fairy Tale in its final season. I'm still watching it till this day right now. I went back and actually um, went back to watch uh, Magi: The Labyrinth of Magic. I'm rewatch. I'm <laughs> watching that over again. Um, I actually started watching uh, Backstreet Girls, Goku Dolls. <laughs> It's so weird. So get this. This is a guy that owns a club. He's like the boss of the club. And he has his three flunkies get sex changes into high school girls to become idols just to promote his own bar. And that is the most craziest thing I've ever watched, but still, I love it. <laughs> um, watch Children of the Whales. Um, Mary and the Witch's Flower, that's actually an anime movie, but still I watched it. Uh, what other ones have I watched? Still haven't finished, uh, Castlevania yet. It's so good, though. Still watching that. Uh, what other ones have I watched? Watched, uh, Cyborg 009 versus Devil May Cry Baby. Seen that one. Jeez, I've watched so many. It's insane. Ah, uh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I'm currently watching March Comes In Like a Lion. That was a new one that I was watching. Um, it's really good. Kind of sad a bit, but good. <laughs> yeah, it makes you just want to curl up into a ball and die and think about your life. Um, The Silent Voice, the movie, I recently watched that. Definitely worth the two hours. That It's two hours and nine minutes long. That's how long the movie is. It is very good. I recommend watching that. What other one have I watched? Destructive Life of Psyche K. I finished the first season, but yet the second season is not in English, so I don't touch it anymore <laughs> until they put it in English. Um, Cyrus the Jagger. That's actually pretty cool. About hunting vampires. Skilled people that hunt vampires. Another Netflix original series. So far, Netflix is pretty good about <laughs> their anime releases. Uh, what other ones have I watched? I can't name any right now, but um, let me go to my Funimation, because I have a lot on there. Oh boy, what have I watched so far? I'm going to look at all my recently watched. So that's what I'm going to take a look at. So now you'll know how many I have watched. <laughs> how many animes I have watched so far. <laughs> so while I was at home, I was watching One Piece. I'm watching Sky Wizards Academy, Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2. Um, a sister is all you need. Now, this one's actually pretty funny. So, there's a young author that is 17, and he has a little sister complex. He has no little sister. He has a younger brother who looks like a girl. Again, anime will trap you in with all these characters that look like diff opposite genders. <sighs> Which is crazy. Um, gangster. He has I'm a little sister complex. Am I thinking? What? He, he basically writes about it in his novels that his main what, character always has what, a little uh, sister. I don't know why. I'm going to regret this, but what kind of novels does he write? He writes fantasy novels. But mostly it's about, like, um, the main character is a girl in his novels. 
but uh-huh. I don't know what the, what the whole deal is with that. So <laughs> I'm not even touching that. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, Sisters All You Need, Gangster, The Helpful Fox, Sonic Hosan, Golden Kamui, Wise Man's Grandchild, Rewatching The Devil Is a Part Timer, Still Watching uh, Black Clover, let's see, um, Continuing Data Live Season 3, Million Arthurs, that's a new one I started watching. Um, you know, a girl who chants love, that, that's kind of what part of the title is. Even started watching that Sarazama Nami. <laughs> Still regret watching the first episode. <laughs> Robo Hachi and then Minji Tokyo Rinka. So those are all the animes that I have watched or have, or continue to watch. <laughs> Yet, I have watched a lot more anime than probably she has. <laughs> just a bit. Yeah. Just a wee bit. I mean, I have a lot of anime at home. It's just, I don't watch one, then go watch another one, then go watch another one, then go watch another one, <laughs> go watch another one. I can't do that. I don't have time. I have to, you know, work. And, but I'm not saying that she doesn't work, but hey. I mean, you know, I'm just in training right now for my current job, but either way, yes. A job's a job. A job is a job. Um, I think I touched briefly on the, uh, the cast for the live action Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, you did last week. But what do they have on variety about this? Um, Since that's what we're looking at right now. <laughs> they've actually cast John Cho. Uh, you might know John Cho from Harold and Kumar. Uh, he was also in Star Trek. He played Mr. Sulu. Mm. Uh, also, they're pl- he's going to be playing Spike. Cool. Uh, Mustafa Shakir, he's going to be playing Jet. Nice. And Daniela Pinata, she's going to be playing Faye. And then Alex Hassel, or Hassel, <laughs> he's going to be playing Vicious. Cool. So basically now... Those are the four main players. As far as Ed and Julia and you know, all the other... Aaron, they got covered because all they need to do is just find a corgi. <laughs> Ed is not a corgi. Ed is the computer kid. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about the dog. Oh, I'm... you're talking about Ayn. Ayn, yeah. That, that's who I'm talking about. The dog they got covered. There are plenty of corgis in the world. (laughs) Well, yeah, there is. But um, what I'm hoping is that they don't mess this one up. Because this is like the biggest thing that Netflix could ever do. Because it's been a long time coming. Okay, so the last, the, I would say the latest live action that Netflix has probably put out was that Bleach live action. So, so far, Netflix has probably released at least three live actions. They had a Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, Death, Death Note was actually the first one. Then Full Metal Alchemist. Then Bleach. The The... And from what I understand, only one of them was good. And that was the Bleach one. I thought they put out a, a Kenshin one. Oh, wait, yeah, they did. They put out a Rurouni That Kenshin. was one of th- another good one, apparently. Everyone, uh, Netflix completely bombed with their first anime adaptation, and that was Death Note. They literally just took every fan that loved Death Note and just stabbed them at least probably five million times because they ruined it. The only thing good about that Death Note live action was Ryu. 
the only thing good about that. L was wrong, light was wrong, the whole, like, the whole thing was placed in the U.S., not in Japan where it originally was. E either way, they just screwed it up big time with that. But so far, they bounced back despite Full Metal Alchemist not being, uh, you know, when it was supposed to be. Except, you know, Alphonse was the only thing in that live action that was good. <laughs> That's bad. I <laughs> know. That was the only thing good about it was Al. But everything else was, you know, just Japanese people. But Bleach... From what I understand, uh, Rini Kenshin was their turning turnaround point. Turn, bleach Where and it just... Everything was on point. Everything was right. Mm -hmm. Now let's hope they don't screw it up with Cowboy Bebop. If they do... Nip. That that'll be the end of it. Yeah, to go like done. Burn You're it. done Burn making it. live action shows. Exactly. Cause I there are a lot of Cowboy Bebop fans out there. Ooh, Chris Hemsworth. <laughs> yes. Responds to the end game fat shaming Thor controversy. <laughs> now, for all of you guys who do not see. Endgame or have or have seen Endgame, Thor gets fat. <laughs> Thor gets a little portly. Well, I mean, he's he's got a he had a beer he's got a beer belly. Yeah, he had a beer belly and decided not to get rid of it <laughs> as the movie progressed. He was depressed. Yeah, but he at least could have worked out or something. <laughs> but his uh, I fit. can understand a reason why he was depressed. I mean, he failed in layman's terms. He failed the first time, and the second time, Thanos didn't even fight back. So, well, he already did. What him. was the reason in him doing what he did? I um, mean, yeah, so he wouldn't snap his fingers anymore, but mm -hmm. I mean. He just, he just got depressed, mm -hmm. and I can understand. Yeah, we all get depressed when we fail. But it's funny though that, <laughs> yeah. I mean, right after he did that, he just, he was depressed. Mm -hmm. You could tell it. Yeah, he let himself go. <laughs> in the worst way, in playing Fortnite. Of please all games. do not sing the song. <laughs> Um, he was just playing Fortnite with his two buddies and literally terrorizing a probably a ten year old child. So he's like, "I will fly over to your house, cut off your arms, and shove them up your butt." <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he said, "Rip off your arms and shove them up your butt." That's what he said. <laughs> he didn't say cut off your arms and then shove them. That's up your when butt. Rocket came over and got him with it. Uh huh. <laughs> mm. It was Rocket and Honk that had to go to the store. I think we should stop giving away the movie. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> it's out there. Uh, but I think everybody's probably already seen it already. So I hope so, because a lot... Spoilers! Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's up there. It's number one right now, so, yeah. Yep. But as far as Cowboy Bebop goes... They really need to get this right in order for it to not be a failure. Netflix got one right, and that was Maruni Kenshin. If they screw up Cowboy Bebop, it's all downhill. Yeah. They're going to ruin it for all those fans, all the Cowboy Bebop fans. And, well, a lot of Cowboy Bebop fans make up a lot of... Anime fans, period. True. I mean, you like Cowboy Bebop. I do. Um, I'm sure a lot of you out there love Cowboy Bebop. Mm -hmm. um, I would hate to see it be ruined. And I'm hoping, praying, that they get it right. Okay, if, if they release it, you know, 
I, they prob when the when was it supposed to be released? Like maybe not until later, like towards they're, the end of the year. They're or? not even saying they're still casting for the roles. Wow. So they just got the four main players. Uh huh. They um. So they haven't even gotten that far. Mm -hmm. So they just have the four main players, which is Spike, Jet, Faye, and, and Vicious. vicious. He well, does look like a Vicious, doesn't he? Eh, yeah, that's a little. He's got the droopy eyes and everything. <laughs> Oh, I mean, actors do lead rough lives and they have to lose a lot of sleep, so. Yeah, they do. I wonder how John Cho would look with an afro. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think, well, it, in the anime, it didn't look like an afro. It well, just looked, you know. Puffy. It didn't even look pu puffy. Well, he had, like, you know, he had his sideburns going on, and then it was a bit kind of, like, poofy. It wasn't really, like, an afro. It was just small. Like, he had, I don't know. He had green hair, and it was, I don't know. I'm just picturing how he would look. <laughs> we are looking up photos of, of uh, Spike Spiegel. See? Oh, wait, he no. look, looks like bedhead. Yeah, but he wakes up with that every day. <laughs> yeah, but he <laughs> looks, he can wear it well. True. He wears it well. He does. Oh, it's just, you know. It's just bedhead. Yep, just bedhead. He does Fluffy it. bedhead. Yep. Green hair on John Cho. Ha! Huh. And not just any green hair, dark green hair. <laughs> Remind you of anybody? Reminds you of Deku. He's got dark green hair, but mostly black. Uh, I think his is a lighter green. His is mostly just black with green highlights in his hair. And it's funny because we never see majority of these kids' parents in My Hero Academia. You see, you maybe see one parent. <laughs> Or older sibling or older brother. <laughs> but that's it. Dang it, got it. You have technical snafus. Now I'm kidding. <laughs> now, his is completely green. But there's black in his hair. Or maybe it just depends on where he's facing. Wait a minute. Does he meet himself as a villain? No, 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 no. Um... Like, heading towards, like, the third series, um, he actually meets a person that completely looks like him. Search, uh, Deku's twin. There's actually a guy that almost looks exactly like Deku. That guy right there. Oh, my God, that one, yeah. He was, he met him the first day at the... Um, the hero license. Yes. And he was huh, nice to him. Uh-huh. And that and he's voiced by um Brian Pembroke. Name sounds familiar. He voices Aaron from Attack on Titan. Don't watch that. Um, geez, what other voice acting does he do? Um I know that he voices on. Uh, he's on a. He's on a um, miraculous ladybug. He voices uh, Cat Noir slash Adrian. Um, who else does he voice? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I'm gonna look it up. <laughs> I'm looking it up. I'm gonna look it up. He's looking it up. I'm looking it up because I forgot how many voices this man does. So I'm going to look it up. Wait a minute, so Deku has a twin brother? We don't know. His mom never confirmed it, and the creators never confirmed it. <laughs> it could be Deku's long-lost twin brother. Just look at him. Pull up that picture right there and just look at it. 
Which one? The first one to your right. No, left. This one? No, that one up in the corner. Other corner. <laughs> now put it up there. Blast it open. Look. Holy cow, they look alike. And the only thing is the one guy is taller than Deku. Could it be possible that his mom maybe had one child, gave it up for adoption, and then gave birth to Deku? Hmm. <laughs> I think he is older But the thing is, he goes Deku. to a different school. Huh? He goes to a different school. Yeah, he goes to a different school, but I think he's in a different grade. Hmm. Because there's a lot of kids there that are taller than all of them. I can't spell his name. I don't know why. I can't spell today. <laughs> Good lord. Heaven help me. No. Oh, crap. Ah! <laughs> she no. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think anybody could hear anything, or I doubt it. I can't say anything. Okay. Urgh. No, I, I clicked on this, and I didn't know that it was going to be going to YouTube. Uh-oh. <laughs> it went to YouTube. So, sorry. Either way, that's <laughs> so funny, though. Hold on. Shido. And look at Shido, my hero, and then it'll just give me the voice actor because I don't know how to spell his darn name. <laughs> it's sad. It could be possible, though, but we don't know. They look so much alike. Holy they look cow. a lot alike. It's creepy. I know. It's crazy. Yoshido. That is his name. Yoshido. <laughs> Yo is tall, muscular young man with shaggy, unruly hair, which is such a dark brown that it's almost black. Yep. <laughs> yep, that's true. He almost does look like Deku. That's an uncanny resemblance. So much. If this thing can go any slower. <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't want to work. Our Wi Fi really stinks. <laughs> That's honest. weird because mine goes faster than yours. Well, that's because you have the modem over there. <laughs> yep. And it's mine's just slow as molasses. I don't get it. It just is. Yeah, I'm gonna close that if it'll let me close it. This one's just really, really slow. I don't know why. Just gonna look it up on my phone because that's why I have it. <laughs> She's trying to figure out who the voice actor is for... I know who it is. This it's guy right here. Mm -hmm. I think you said his name is Brian Penbrook? Yes. God, if I can look it up faster and you can, that's going to be sad. Oh, Pembroke. Yeah, him. I've been spelling it wrong. I thought it was like... I, I don't want to bring up something that will... <laughs> uh... Eek. Okay. No, that's not him. It's some other dude. Well, it's got to be one of these dudes. 
Oh my gosh. Um, He's been in a lot of stuff. Bryce Pembroke. That's who, that's who his name. That's his name. <laughs> and for some reason, I couldn't say his name for some weird reason. Let me see. Um, B R Y C E. -E. Yep. There he is. There's that guy right here. By Bryce. Penbrook. Yep. He's not bad looking. Okay, so here are all of the characters he has voiced. He's voiced Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan, Kirito from Sword Art Online. Uh, let's see. Rin Akumaro from Blue Exorcist. And a bunch of other people that's on this uh, little page that he has. Attack on Titan, Sword Art Online. Um... Blood Lad, what? He's been on Blood Lad too. Um, let's see, what else has he been on? Vampire Night Guilty Volume One. Um, who would he play? I think he was uh, um, Su um, Subasa. That deep. Uh, I you sure? Because that was a deep voice. No, no. No. For the love of criminy, I can't think. Erg. Okay, let's see. Okay. Okay, he was in Trigon. Treehouse Detective. I don't think he was uh, Vash the Stampede. Suo. Oh, he's in Suo. He was in Children of the Whale. Wait, 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 wait. Um, no, he wasn't. Oh, he was Hanabusa. I know. Yeah, yeah, them. Yeah, Hanabusa. He was Lance. From... But he was not in Trigun. That was Johnny Bosch. He must. He probably was. We just. If didn't... they redid it, then they are so wrong. <laughs> uh. Sword Art Online. He was Kirito mm -hmm. he for still three. Is. Sorry, for three. Not for three. Three TV series and movie. Yeah, he was Kirito in Sword Art Online, Aaron Yeager from Attack on Titan, Rena Kumaro from Blue Exorcist. Oh, he was in the Space Dandy, which I never watched. Uh, Fantasy Night, Ultimate Blade Works. I, I never watched that. Um, oh, I huh. remember. He was Mel he's He Mel was Joe he was in JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. He played uh Zapelli. He was um You remember? Uh, mm-hmm. Zapelli. Yep, I remember Zapelli. <laughs> I recognize him. The that. one that we re couldn't really go into deep oh, description yeah. about. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was Meliodas in the Seven Deadly Sins and another character. He's mostly now known for being Adrian Agress slash Cat Noir in the Miraculous Ladybug series. Oh, he series. was in uh, Iron Blooded Orphans. He's in everything. Well, these guys they they, they do a show. Mm -hmm. They have a contract to do a show, and then they just go back and forth from one. They just go, you know. Around the different studios that want them. And they have contracts with them. If they feel that they're not doing their job, then they're gone. Look, get this. He was um, Edgar Frost in the Marvel anime Blade back in 2012. That's crazy. Well, this says, according to this... I'm looking uh, at the same wiki, uh, wiki, wiki. According to this, in are. the year 2000, which is so wrong. Try going. Whoever did this, you're wrong. It was Johnny Bosch. Hello. 
Oh, he played Young Vash the Stampede. Yeah. yeah, that could be right. <laughs> um, 2000 Trigun, Young Vash the Stampede. Sorry. <laughs> Let's see. Um, he was Staz from Blood Lad. I've never, I've never known that. Um, in 2014, in the Viz Media dub of Sailor Moon... He was Kenji Shino Nakawa. Hold on. Shino Kawa. That's who he was. Jeez. He was... What? He was in El Noah Zero? <laughs> Back in 2015? <laughs> and I've watched that anime already. Uh, I wouldn't look know. At the, look at the list for, you know, like... Vic Manana and... Oh, uh, Steve Bloom, um, Richard Hayworth. See, see how far back theirs go. Wait, hold up. He played, who did he play? He played Wataru in the Brothers Conflict anime? He was the youngest brother? What? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm reading through all his credentials. Charlotte, he played Show. What? Wow. I'm reading it way into this, but I'm reading it anyway. Um, yep, yep. He was in Be Cool Scooby Doo. Oh, that that series is just trash. It's sad. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go through Vic Mignogna's and read his. <laughs> Doesn't really show much. Or at least I don't see it so far. Uh, career. I can't find his list. Well, not at the moment right now. You probably have better luck if you went to uh, Internet Movie Database. I found it. <laughs> How far back does it go? It's loading. It's taking, for <laughs> <laughs> it's, taking, it's taking its sweet time. I clicked on it and, okay, now it's going faster. Okay. So let's see if I go down. Not now. <laughs> Doesn't really show anything. I'm on the database. I'm trying to figure out where to go. See all the photos. Wait. He was in Star Trek too. No. What? No, 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 no. It shows it. I see photos. It's Star Trek Continues. It's his fan fiction. Oh. That he that he shoots. Hmm. That thing off. He has a seven foot Enterprise in his living room cool. that lights up. <laughs> Lucky. I don't seven see. foot long. Hey, when you're rich, you can afford stuff like that. Oh. Um. So let me look at all of his film stuff. Stupid site. Oh, my gosh. My phone hates me. <laughs> You'll be able to look at it better once you get home. Yeah, well. But anyway, we should probably wrap up the show. Yep. But before I go, <laughs> I'm going to ask a question of you all, all you otakus out there. Otakus. Yay. Uh, let's see. No, don't show my screen. Oh. Okay. It's not there anymore. Hold up a minute. All right. Now it's gone. <laughs> All right. 
So. Let's see here. Wow, he did. Wow. Hmm. That was, a, that was a video game. Anywho. Spider Man. Spider Man. Uh, <laughs> Randomly singing Spider Man. Travis Willingham is a very versatile <laughs> no kidding actor wow uh he has done video games he's done a lot of anime um there's one thing in particular i am looking for not that there we go Okay. Oh, this is not going to help me much. That is really not going to help me much. Why does it have the Jonas Brothers in the background? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, that's funny, though. And I'm getting them out of there. <laughs> but... He was in Bleach. Um, how many episodes was Travis Willingham in in Bleach? The question for all you otakus out there. We'll be posting that on our Nemo as well as on my anime Nemo for all of you guys to answer the question for. And also on YouTube. Yep. And if you want to be in the know when we post another video, another show, you've got to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you know the next time we post the show I know so I be in the know <laughs> and answer our question yep because we'll see if any of you guys got it right i have the number right in front of me yeah you know you know i don't know she doesn't know. No. I do. <laughs> I do. She knows. But we want to see if any of you fellow tacos out there can actually give us that specific answer. That's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. Until next Thursday, watch anime until you die, you otakus. Yep. Bye. Peace.